Now to all of us strangers, Andrew Scott and Paul Meskel star in a new movie about a writer's relationship with his mysterious neighbor. The film is getting rave reviews and Chris Conley sat down with the actors and we're going to say good morning to Chris. Hey. Hey, good morning, Michael. So imagine being able to talk to your parents when they were the age that you are now. What would you want to know? What would you tell them about yourself? That's the compelling, poignant idea which All of Us Strangers explores. Thanks to standout actors Andrew Scott and Paul Meskel. Once you leave where you're from, you don't totally belong there again. You've seen these Irish actors before. Paul Meskel, Oscar nominated for After Sun, an overnight sensation thanks to the series Normal People. I thought you'd be in prison. And Andrew Scott as Hot Priest on Phoebe Waller Bridge's Fleabag. I love you. It'll pass. Right. Now these two are paired up on screen the as the emotionally charged all of us strangers dares to imagine the impossible. The character that I play, Adam, his parents have died 30 years before the story takes place, and so he sort of conjures them. Um, what would you say to your parents as as an adult or a perceived adult. And how would you explain to them how you are and what's happened and what might they say? A gay screenwriter talks with his parents in a way he never could while they were alive. As um, he's delving into this former world, he actually has a very active uh, world in the present because he's falling in love. Meskel plays a provocative stranger whose arrival disrupts Adam's life. My job in this film in particular was to offer a safe place for Adam's character to land and re-examine his relationship to his own sexuality. But I think the the real intimacy, the love comes in sometimes just the way you know you look at each other. You said you'd taken little bits of this character from people you knew and even from your own life. Yeah, and I'll probably keep that as a little <laughs> secret. It's definitely, yeah. I know what that feeling is to like step in and look after someone. I think it's actually it's not something that's unique to me, but to love someone is, is a privilege that I've experienced. As a gay man himself, Andrew Scott says he connected with his character's sense of alienation. There's a great deal of prejudice that still exists, but certainly in the 80s, the way different types of sexuality was uh, approached in the media was so awful. It's really terribly cruel. You talk so beautifully, though, about how even given your support from your family, you didn't get to have an adolescence as a gay man. Exactly. You had to hide it. You have to hide it. And, and I think what's a terrible shame is that you're denied a kind of a joy and a kind of an awkwardness. You have to make mistakes when you're an adolescent. I think that can be a really troubling time for a lot of young queer people. Scott's now a Golden Globe nominee for his performance. He and Meskel both appreciate the emotional reaction movie audiences have been having. Maybe it sounds awkward to say this, but it's very satisfying <laughs> to see people upset. I suppose it means that the thing that you made is having the desired effect on the audience. It is a powerful watch. Good things ahead for both of these actors. Paul Meskel is on to Gladiator 2, while Andrew Scott could be looking at an Oscar nomination. Guys? Wow, that's All right, great. we'll keep yeah. an eye on them. Thank you so much for that, Chris. All of Us Strangers is in theaters this Friday. Wit? All right, time now for a Monday Night Football ticket giveaway. And this morning, one of the San Francisco 49ers' biggest fans, my people, getting <laughs> surprised with tickets to the big game next week. And Gio Benitez was there for a special moment. Take a look. Avery Martin hasn't missed a Niners game in 13 years. What is it about the 49ers that you just love so much? The Niners just bring me so much joy and excitement. I think it's just part of me and I'll be a fan forever. And you even wore a jersey to your yearbook photo shoot? I did, I did. I wear that jersey a lot when I kind of want, you know, security, comfort, and confidence. The San Francisco native proud of all her Niners gear. I've got this flag. It's the faithful flag for the 49ers. I've had this for 10 or 13 years. Which includes homemade ornaments of her favorite players. So this is Patrick Willis, and then I've got this ornament that I made this year of Fred Warner, and then I've got Brendan Ayuk. Okay, so tell me about the time that your dad surprised you. He actually somehow worked his magic and got me to be a flag bearer. It was the most special moment of my life, being that close to them. Well, he's gonna have to get used to those surprises because guess what? <laughs> We're giving you four tickets to the Christmas Day Niners game. Stop it, Gio. No. You are going with your dad. And that's not all, because you're also getting pre-game sideline access. You are going. Stop it. I literally have chills. I'm. Thank you so much. Ah!
<laughs> Monday Night Football on Christmas Day. What what could be better than that? Have fun, Avery. For Good Morning America, Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. I love the presentation mm. from oh, Gio. Yeah. Wow. Like, you yeah. are going yeah. <laughs> Monday awesome. night. Save a ticket for me, too, by the way, and just in case there's an extra, right? Way. Yes. Great one. So, that 49ers game, they take on the Ravens Monday night football, 8 15 p.m. Eastern on ABC. So fun. Yep. All right. Coming up right here, Ted Lasso star Hannah Waddingham is here live. Know, Stay with you us. You know who's here to watch her? Duff. Every oh, Larry Duff. Sunday. Duff. Yeah, he's here. <laughs> he's all grown up. Yes. I'm in so much trouble. Oh, he's got a mic. Uh-oh, he's got a mic. Are you ready for your close-up, honey? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. If he's not, it's too late now. We'll be back. Say we'll be back. We'll be back. There you go. Yeah. Yes.